The Doppler effect is a phenomenon in which a stationary observer hears a change in pitch as an object approaches and recedes while sounding a constant pitch. This change in pitch is caused by the compression of sound waves. The change in pitch is dependent on the speed of the approaching object and will become more extreme as the speed of the object increases. Let's see what happens when we try this out. To demonstrate the Doppler effect, we'll be using a source of sound that can easily maintain the same pitch. Take, for example, this air horn. As compressed, air passes through the opening. The air horn maintains a steady pitch. When I walk from one side of the frame to the other, however, there is an audible difference in pitch as I approach the camera, and then depart along the other side of the frame. This is called the Doppler effect. Though the change in pitch is small, it is still noticeable. As we increase the speed of the objects moving across the, uh, across the frame, we'll see that the Doppler effect increases dramatically in noticeability. So now we've seen what the Doppler effect looks like at a slow and moderate pace. Let's try it one more time, quite a bit faster this time. We'll approach 40 miles per hour in this example, which will demonstrate an even more substantial change in pitch. Okay, so now we've both seen and heard the Doppler effect, but what's really going on here? Sarah and Alejandro will explain. As the air horn and the bicycle approach the camera, we perceive a higher frequency as well as a higher pitch. Now, this is because as each successive sound wave is emitted, each successive sound wave gets closer to the camera. Now, the opposite is true when the bicycle and the air horn are moving away from the camera. We perceive a lower frequency as well as a lower pitch. Now my friend Alejandro is going to explain the difference between the amplitude and the wavelength. Now, the key distinction is between amplitude and wavelength. Amplitude is the distance between the middle line to the top of a crest or the bottom of a trough. Now the greater the distance, the greater the volume. Now keep in mind the key difference between amplitude and wavelength, which, which is the distance between one trough and the next. So as uh, wavelength increases, wavelength per second equals frequency. So as frequency increases, so too does pitch. Well, there you have it. A brief explanation of the mechanics of the Doppler effect. We hope that this video was entertaining as well as informative, and that it helped you to understand the nature of the phenomenon. We'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our friends at the San Diego Supercomputer Center, who graciously decided not to murder us during the production of this video. Finally, and as a last treat for you, we have the Chromatics with their single Doppler shifting. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.
Sun tells him all about the frequency change And Susan's walking along in her sleep Racing days are done Mm-hmm. <laughs> 